So this is the last race of the afternoon session. It's the Prince Elizabeth Challenge Club. We have Lawrenceville School from the USA up against Radley College. Schoolboy H racing at its best. So Radley, incredible pedigree in British rowing, and uh, they'll be doing their best here, I have absolutely no doubt. Coming down the island, both crews neck and neck, coming out of the shadow of the island. No problem steering here. We've got experienced coxswains, and they're giving it their all. Well, Radley College, so experienced at Henley, um, so much pedigree. Lawrenceville came over to the UK. They raced at Marlow Regatta, um, found the competition tough there, um, and they're going to have a tough race here, I think, with Radley, who looked to get out and looked to try and break them very early in the race out here, coming up towards the quarter mile. John Gearing is the coach of the Radley crew, and he was very pleased that this crew actually won the time trial and the semi-finals at the uh, National Schools Regatta, and he knew then that they were going to have to beat St Paul's. So these guys have already been tried and tested this season. So we have moved on down the course, um, as we see the crews well through that three-quarter mile mark. Um, the time going up there at 3.10 through halfway. And Redley looking solid and in control. As we see, just a really nice rhythm in this boat. Hands coming around the finish, then relaxing, letting the boat come under them. And there we are on the close-up with uh, Felix Rawlinson there in the stroke seat and Ned Ray-Smith behind him. Definitely taking the rate down there. This crew knows that they've got to conserve their energy as they are now pulling clear water well away from their opposition. Look at that as we pan quietly backwards. Four lengths, Greg? Yeah, it's probably about four lengths. Radley are able to come down to 28 strokes per minute. Um, Lawrenceville School from the USA raced against Bryanston yesterday, um, who did make a move on them, but then hit the boys uh, before the barrier and had to stop, allowing Lawrenceville to slip past. Um, and then they led for the rest of the course. But they found themselves up against the crew who have not made any such mistakes today. Um, Radley getting towards the enclosures and looking strong and in control. Yeah, they are definitely a quality schoolboy crew. And of course, it takes years to build this sort of quality in a school program. You've got to have them probably from age 14, a lot of young men start rowing then. And so these lads will have been trained extremely hard for many years. Looking close up there as we go through Luke Miles and Alex Senior in the uh, five and four seats respectively, and panning down past Rory Gearing, Ned Ray Smith, and of course, Felix Rawlinson. The Cox Ted Williams has taken up the sport, he said, eight years ago, and he was formerly a high jumper. Well, that's a change of sport, isn't it? Don't need much of that in rowing. Yeah, but I guess it's that basic physicality, isn't it? And like you say, you build a good program, you have a good rhythm, you have a good way of, of bringing athletes through. So if you've got someone who's tall, who's strong, who's powerful, who can push themselves hard, then having a good rowing program, a good coaching, as they have at Radley, allows them to, to steer into the crew, learn to row well together, and uh, have experiences like this at Henley. But the crew from Lawrenceville on our left, Keeping the rate up, building it up in front of the grandstand, and we're going to race all the way to the line. Yeah, I hope Lawrence will come back and give it another crack in another year or two, because it's absolutely no disgrace going out to a quality crew like Radley, and we really value our overseas visitors who make the effort to come here. We do, and we hope that has been an enjoyable race for you to watch with us as we see Radley come across the finish line, looking strong, easy, and wait for the opposition. Lawrenceville School coming past that floating grandstand and crossing the line now. And we will see confirmation of that win in the Prince Elizabeth Challenge Cup for Radley College over Lawrenceville School, USA.